100,000. We're back on Inside Tennessee talking <laughs> numbers and voting and all things and Knoxville and Knox County. <laughs> yes, we're we always, percent versus raw count. Yeah. Well, we always say they should be rolling during the break. Yes. So, Don, you want to lead us off uh, as well. Again, just to for people who have just joined us, Terry Hill is the chair of Knox County Commission. That is 11 members newly elected, and Andrew Roberto leads the nine member Knoxville City Council as the vice mayor. So, the ghost of Metro government is dead. <laughs> Yes, so that means is. you two, as two set <laughs> leaders of two separate bodies, have to work together. And uh, certainly in my time in this community, which is now 35 plus years and then really uh, 40 plus years counting college, <coughs> uh, it's gotten a lot better. Mm -hmm. uh, but tell, I'll start with you and, and Vice Mayor, how, how well do you think City Council is working with County Commission and what are you doing together that you're most proud of? Well, I think we, we've had a history here recently, of certainly, of having joint workshops. So I think um, the relationship is, is good. Uh, we invite uh, our county partners to things and they invite us to things as well. Um, and so we all, often see each other out in the, in, in the community we all represent. But I think our work on mental health is probably something to really highlight for the folks watching the show this morning. You know, uh, in our uh, retreat that council has, uh, we talked a lot about wanting to deal with mental health and that, you know, the city doesn't have the resources to be able to do that by ourselves. And what we need to do is be able to branch out to our county partners and our state partners as well. From that came, you know, having a, the first joint workshop uh, with the county and then having our state partners come as well. And so we did, uh, we had a workshop on mental health and had a really good you one. You say the first joint workshop, is that ever or recently on anything? I'm or? not aware of any other time there's been a joint workshop in the state where you had the members of city council, the members of county commission, and members from the delegation to the state in, the, in any meeting. If, if there is, I haven't heard about it. Um, but we did it twice. Uh, most recently in the last um, couple months mm -hmm. and we did a, a second one where we really talked more about what we wanted to do. From that came an ask. And so we, uh, we put together a resolution that the same language was passed at, at city council as was passed at county commission and sent to our, our legislative body in, in Nashville. So we're looking for partners to help us expand mental health, uh, mental health services here. See, metro government does work. <laughs> so Terry, your thoughts, same question. I'd like to um, talk a little bit about our um, economic development, the stimulus that, um, that we've been able to join together on. Um, one of the biggest economic stimulus is coming um, is our multi-use stadium that has been a, um, a uh, I, I believe will be a very successful joint project. Um, another thing that the city and county have done well together is um, uh, prior to the last couple of years, we were always a little bit disjointed with the county as far as, uh, or with the city as far as trying to um, uh, do business recruitment and uh, job uh, growth and this type of thing. And we have collectively, we have dissolved what we called our, de our development corporation. And both bodies have come together under the Chamber of Commerce. So now the Chamber is our primary recruiting tool. So when we have business and industry come, um, instead of having to deal with the county, deal with the city, um, they come to our chamber. And our chamber is, is a more um, business friendly, more able to get into what the needs are, and uh, allows us, because we both contribute to that, to be able to work together toward bringing more uh, economic development to our county, which is what we need. Haven't you all, haven't <coughs> the city and county also set up a task force of sorts on the homelessness mm -hmm. problem? I was, yeah. had talked to Mayor Jacobs about that and he had mentioned that you all were working together. So talk about that as well. We do. We, um, in fact, they have just jointly hired a um, homeless coordinator that is a, a shared position. Um, and. Um, her efforts will be to try to, again, kind of the fracture that we have, disjointedness in uh, everybody's got a little piece, but nobody really is sometimes overseen. knows what the other is doing. So pulling that together, uh, working a lot more with our um, not-for-profits and our faith-based organizations throughout the city and the county to pull together so that we're not redundant in services. So I'm very excited that we're working with that. I, I think absolutely. I think that's a critical place. But, you know, it, it's obviously no one's under any illusion 
notion that there's not differences between the bodies or that the, the those folks in city government they might view things a little differently than they do in county government and likewise I'm sure Terry and I can find some stuff that we would disagree with too but what's important is when we have something in common that's affecting all of our community we can come together and work on things and so the mental health workshops is one of those things I think being able to have that ability to see something that is going to be able to work with everybody and then you know being able to put pressure on that and hopefully get some success is important for our community vice mayor andrew roberto of the city thank you for being here chair terry hill we appreciate your service thank as well you. yeah thank you. we'll be back with our talk around right after this thank you